What's up, Rose? Johnny from John's Motorsports and um, John's and Speedland. About to do a run in this um, FRS. So now bring it up through the gears. Took me a day or two just to figure out what's going on with it, but it runs awesome. Uh, you can see the air fuel is 14.6. It idles better than stock. Uh, I've raised the idle up from 650 to 800, and it idles awesome. It does exactly what it needs to do. I'll blip the throttle so you guys can see how nice the idle comes back. <coughs> a lot of these Subarus, you'll blip the throttle, then it'll dip, come down, like there's an issue with the dash pot, and then it won't go back up. This this will, you know, I just give it a little blip and it comes right back so it's fun to do as far as the map switching you have it right here in the stock and um, the cruise control stock I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, yeah not just like the uh, prep stuff you can switch on the um, on the on the steering wheel in this case uh, you switch to the stock you can do it with these buttons here too you can actually set it up with the buttons which is also cool but uh, yeah let's see how much this car made just now in that pool made some pretty good power. Let's take a look. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm getting old. So that's not too bad, horsepower-wise, as opposed to the yesterday. And you can see here the uh, vehicle weight and power at 50. And it's Pat's car right here. Here we are on the, on the dial. Here's the vehicle. You can hear the ticking. The wonderful ticking that comes with all these FRSs these BRZs. So here's the trace. Look how nice this line is here. Mental. Here's your top horsepower right here. I'll open yesterday's runs where the most we made was about 184 horsepower. We were having an issue. And now we're up. I'll compare that. Let me put this in. Uh, what was the best one? Vehicle Sim, FRS. Let's go curve. I think the best one was the last one. There's a 24, so let's go like this. This is yesterday, so there's a huge difference in torque right here compared to before. Mm, no, this is another one. This is an, or this is an either an even worse than before. Let's see here. Let's open up. Uh, well, let's just open up a, a stock. What, what what these things make stock, and I want to show you guys that torque dip. Huge torque dip on these. So here's Terrio right here. Here's actually I'll do the here Grady Cast stock tune. Here we go. We'll go like that. So you can see the differences this this kit makes. Look, look at the sick difference right here. Now we're past there are the max mins. You guys get an idea. So you guys can actually see the difference in, in horsepower the kit makes, and here are the differences in torque. It's a really sweet kit. I gotta say. So yeah, I gotta figure it out. We're making about 212 horsepower, and the max torque is in the neighborhood of uh, 186, as opposed to stock, which is like in the one, say about 130. Let me see if I can find that tune from yesterday. YouTube, I think I got 10 minutes, so we have time for this. Okay, Pat, let's go like this. Search. Let's go all test types. Let's go uh, RPM. Be 
easier. We'll come down here. See, I didn't name them yesterday. I should have. I was in a rush. How about this one here? Yeah, you see, so this is the, this is the one yesterday where we made the match we made. So we made a lot more horsepower. See how the horsepower dipped down here? In this this curve right here. That's where it was. Here it makes my axis. Here we go. So you see right here we had made 184, and now we're at 213, which is about what's online what everyone's making. And here we're at 176 torque, and here we're at 186. So we got it spot on, man. We got we fixed the issues from yesterday and that uh, what you guys saw online, what I put on the Facebook page. Let's name this here. So yeah, so we got it sorted out. So guys, you guys will have an FRS. You guys want us to tune it, you bring it by. Uh, so now we've officially uh, figured out the bugs on these uh, Innovate kits. I still think it needs a um, an intercooler. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, I don't like to do anything without the helmet intercooler, especially these Lysholm style blowers. Um, this is a Sprintex, I think. I'm not sure what blower this is. But um, I definitely consider getting the, uh, the intercooler underneath, getting a proper intercooler for it because um, it needs one. Now, of course, also you have a heat exchanger in the front bumper, so that will go behind the, uh, the grill here would look pretty cool. So you have a heat exchanger with a pump that will run water through the intercooler. So right on, man. Thanks for watching, guys. And like I said, FRS is going to conquer them too. So uh, we're down. This is only making 5 PSI, the level 5 air fuel. You guys saw the air fuel gauge. And, uh, yeah, right on, man. So bring them by, and uh, we'll hook you up with the kit, get it installed, and make it these uh, these numbers. The torque number here, the, just the difference. This dip here, it's insane because these cars are really, you know, really slow down here. Look at look how nice that is. It's mint. Yeah, and we also give it oil change. Like if I if I'm tuning a car for more than a day, I'm gonna swap the oil out of it on the dyno. I'm not gonna risk the guy's motor. I mean, we do stuff professionally here. I want you guys to be, you know, safe and have a reliable setup. I could probably make more power than this, but I'm not going to pass this. My dyno gives you know generically low, lower numbers. These are also standard numbers. They're uh, the proper. Um, uh, let me see if I can remember where you have to look at the, uh, the switch here. The U.S. limits. Let's see where we at. Oh yeah, dyno parameters. Okay. I have to exit. Let's see here. Sorry, 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 dyno parameters. You should see it right here. So you see right here, we're using the uh, SE corrections on the dyno. If I take this off, I should make it to five and four and six PS, uh, percent more horsepower and torque. So don't be fooled. Make sure this is checked. So you're getting the standard of automotive engineers actual corrections um, for your uh, for your, for your dyno numbers. All right. So guys, come on and see us, man. We'll hook you up.